my youtube channel or welcome to my channel if you are new today's video is going to be super super exciting i'm going to be showing you guys my morning and nighttime skincare routine and you guys i love skincare so much and i'm going to be showing you guys not just my routine but i'm going to be giving you some tips as well as sharing with you guys my most loved products last year i struggled a lot with cystic acne and i had never had it before and i actually went on accutane for six months and so if you guys want to know more about my accutane experience and and how that went for me. I do have an IGTV video already up on my Instagram so you can go ahead to my Instagram and watch that and like learn more if you're curious. As you can see Accutane definitely did wonders for me and I highly recommend it. It's really allowed me to feel a lot more confident in my skin and I just feel myself again and happy and so overall my skin is I would say more normal to dry and I really really love hydration so much and after all of that acne that I had and after going on Accutane I still have a lot of acne scars so with my skincare routine I really try to focus on hydration with achieving that even skin tone, that glowy look and bright skin, but also targeting my acne scars and trying to brighten those. And so all the products that I will be showing you guys today are great for all of those things. So without further ado, let's start with my morning routine. In the morning, the first thing I do when I wake up is I use a warm washcloth. Growing up, I never used to use a cleanser in the morning. My mom always taught me to use a warm washcloth and I feel like that really helps me wake up in the morning. I feel like using a cleanser in the morning can really strip your skin, especially if you're using a really harsh cleanser. I do think that if you do use a cleanser in the morning, I think a gentle cleanser would be best. After I use my washcloth, the next product I've been loving is the Summer Fridays CC Me Serum and it's their vitamin C serum. And the reason why I really like this one from Summer Fridays is because it's also really hydrating. So I like how it gives hydration and also brightens my skin and it helps my acne scars. Vitamin C is a really great ingredient to incorporate into your morning routine because it gives you that glowy, bright look for you know the morning and making yourself look awake. I've really been loving the Summer Fridays one and I've been using this for a while now. After I go in with my vitamin C serum, I have been really loving this Derma E Scar Gel and I heard about this product from Roxette. She's a makeup and beauty YouTuber and she's actually from Vancouver so I love her and um, she has amazing skincare routines as well so when she suggested this product I knew I had to get it. <laughs> she swears by this scar gel. Thankfully I needed something for my acne scars so I copped it right away. I've used about probably more than half of it already and what I do is I apply it to just my cheek area where I have my acne scars. I don't apply it all over my face. So I'll just take a light amount. A little goes a long way with this. I really like it because it's hydrating. It doesn't make my skin feel dry and it soaks into the skin really nicely. This one's a great one for if you have any scars. It doesn't even have to be acne scars, but any scars in general and dark spots. Just something to note you guys, like if you do have acne scars, it takes a really long time and it's a really long process. I have really learned how to be patient with that and it's definitely really hard, but I know that by using products over time, my my acne scars eventually will get better so make sure you be patient and have hope that everything will improve but it does take time and then after those two products i just go in with my moisturizer guys this is my favorite moisturizer ever it's the cerave moisturizing cream and this one says it's normal to dry skin and it's a very thick cream. But you guys, I started using this when I was on Accutane and I still use it now. It's a really thick cream and I just love to lather this all over my face. I know if you're maybe like on the oilier side, this might be a little bit intimidating for you, but I promise you guys, like even if you are more on the oily side, this is a really great cream. It's super hydrating versus oily and it soaks into the skin so, so nicely. It does not leave my skin feel oily at all. I love this product. I don't know if I will ever change moisturizers to be honest. This is my favorite. It comes in a humongous tub. The pricing is great, drugstore brand, 
uh, my skin just loves this stuff so I make sure to lather it all over. Another tip for you guys is when you're applying your products to make sure you go all the way down your neck and to your chest as well. We don't want to forget about your neck just for like aging purposes and wrinkles or any of those things so make sure you bring your products down to your neck and i even heard that it's good to like put it on your hands but i don't go that far yet maybe when i'm a bit older i don't know <laughs> maybe i'll start incorporating that the next product i use is an eye cream i believe that eye cream is kind of more of a self-care item i don't think it's very necessary or crucial in the skincare routine but this eye cream i really like it's by sephora collection and it's their hyaluronic acid eye cream and the reason why i like this one is because it's only twenty dollars okay and it provides the moisture and hydration and it feels just really nice around my eye area so i like using this in the morning but also most importantly this product is really great for depuffing your eyes and yeah this eye cream is a lifesaver for the morning you know when you wake up your, your face is so puffy your eyes are puffy so this eye cream is really amazing if you guys are gonna try an eye cream i would try this one because it's a great price there's another eye cream that i've tried it's the keels avocado eye cream and I like that one, but it's very pricey. And for me, I feel like it doesn't provide anything more for me other than just hydration. And I feel like I could just get hydration from this. In my opinion, some eye creams are like worth it, some aren't. The biggest reason why I love this one is because of the de-puffing, so. Yeah, this one's great. Last but not least for the morning skincare routine is the most essential product for a morning routine and it is SPF and sunscreen. I've been really liking this one. It's the SkinCeuticals Sheer Physical UV Defense and it's SPF 50. This one's a mineral sunscreen. There's chemical sunscreens and mineral sunscreens, but I've heard that chemical sunscreens are not good for like the coral reef and just environment wise so i like how this one's a mineral sunscreen this one is really nice because it is very sheer it does not leave a white cast and so this is the one i use pretty much every day and makeup also layers well on top of this one so i've been reaching for this one every day but sunscreen is really so important you guys especially if you have acne scars or acne right now because if you're outside even inside your house you should be wearing sunscreen sunscreen is so important because the sun can have really bad damage to your acne scars and just make them darker and they will be harder to get rid of in the future if you're always out in the sun with acne scars it's kind of like you know when you go in the sun you get dark spots like freckles and all that so you have to really protect your skin. Also, I thought I'd show another sunscreen that I really like, and it's the Aven Water Resistant 50 SPF sunscreen. This one's really light consistency as well. Both of these sunscreens have a very like liquidy texture, so when it comes out, it'll be really runny. And so the only thing about this one is that it does leave a white cast, so I will use this one only if I'm not going to wear makeup. But if I am wearing makeup and for the everyday, this one is my favorite. So yeah, these are the two sunscreens that I tend to go between. So that concludes my morning routine. Um, as you can tell, I have a lot of products that are going to hydrate, brighten, de-puff, protect the sun, like all of those things, all of the above. So yeah, I keep the morning routine relatively simple. But as we go into the night routine now, my night routine is a lot more complex. I like to really pack in all the serums, pack in all the hydration I can, and just do a little more self-care for myself at night. Let's now get into my night routine. The first product in my skincare routine is a cleansing balm. And if you guys have not gotten into double cleansing yet, thank me later. It is way way better than using a makeup wipe or even micellar water. Like micellar water, I will use that if I'm like in a pinch but double cleansing is amazing. It leaves your skin feeling so hydrated and not stripped whatsoever. And so for years now, I've been using this Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I really like this one. It works well for me. So how a cleansing balm works is it starts off with this balm consistency, of course, and you apply it straight to your dry face with makeup. And as you 
um, continue to just like get that all over your face and your makeup it like melts your makeup off so nicely and then once your makeup is all melted off you can add water to your face and then it'll all wash off and become more of a like milky texture this is what I use right before I go into the shower so that all my makeup is off and then once I'm in the shower I go in with my cleanser and the cleanser that I've been loving for a while now is the skin SkinCeuticals gentle cleanser and it's in a cream form it's a mild cleanser with allantoin softens this cleanser is a little more on the pricey side but what i really love about it is that it's literally a cream and it feels like a lotion when you put it on your face the reason why i really like this consistency for a cleanser is because it's so hydrating and when I use cleansers, I do not want to make my skin feel stripped at all. And I know this might be a lot for like an oily skin type, but for dry skin, this is really nice. I would recommend though for maybe like a cheaper alternative, I would probably recommend the Hydrating Cleanser by CeraVe if you're more of a dry skin type. And if you're more of an oily skin type, I would maybe recommend the foaming facial cleanser by CeraVe. Those ones are really great cleansers and they're very affordable. So I would go with those if this is a little too expensive for you. But this is my second bottle now and I'm almost finished. So I'm gonna have to reorder a new one soon. I use this one in the shower and it's really nice. I like to take my time when I use my cleanser and I like to really like just sit there and like go in circular motions for like such a long time and just feel so good putting it on my face. Then, once I come out of the shower, I go in with all my toners and serums and all that amazing good stuff. So, the first product I use when I get out of the shower is the Ole Henriksen Dark Spot Toner. What I do is I put this on a cotton round and then I apply it all over my face and neck. And the reason why I'm using this is because it is supposed to be good for dark spots. And I think over time now, like, for probably three to four months I've been using this every night and I have seen that my dark spots have brightened. So I've seen good results with this product working with the scar gel so both have been working really well for me for my dark spots. This one has high potency AHAs in it and if you don't know what AHAs are they're a type of exfoliant and so that's why I use this at nighttime. Since it's an exfoliant it also helps to like smooth my skin but also target my dark spots so it kind of does a two-in-one I feel like. I also thought I'd mention that at the back of this it says that because it contains AHAs, it increases your skin sensitivity to the sun. And this is another big reason why you need to use sunscreen in the morning if you are using toners like this at nighttime or just any type of exfoliant. Whether you use stuff like this at night or time or not, you gotta use a sunscreen, so yeah. Then next, after my toner, I go in with my two favorite ordinary serums. My all-time favorite is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Plus B5 Serum, and this one is amazing for hydration. You guys, if you take anything from this video, it has to be this product, I would say. It is so cheap. I have the big size, and it's still under $10, so that is amazing. Not only does this serum help with hydration, it makes your skin feel so plump it just makes your skin feel so supple and plump i love it so much i never go a night without using this product it's amazing and i can't recommend it enough love that one and then after that hyaluronic acid serum i go in with the ordinary niacinamide plus zinc serum if you don't know niacinamide is a really awesome ingredient for blemishes, redness, texture, oily skin, all of the above. And so that's why I kind of tend to use it because I'm not struggling with a lot of acne right now, but I am struggling with redness still with my acne scars. And of course I want to achieve that even skin tone and I want to keep my skin looking smooth and supple. So this is another great one for nighttime. Also really affordable. And then after those serums, I will go in again with my Derma E Scar Gel. I use this morning and night because it's that good. And then another product I've been trying lately is the Ordinary Caffeine Solution. And this product is meant to be put only in the eye contour area. And it's supposedly really good for puffiness, eye bags. So I have just started using this product. 
and I can't really give a full review yet. I don't see like a huge difference just because I haven't used this for a long period of time at all. Also you guys, I would suggest that you go ahead and follow me on Instagram because I do a lot of product reviews there too on my stories and I asked you guys what you thought about this product and a lot of you guys gave me some really good tips. Some of you said that this one is best to be used at nighttime because if it is used in the morning, makeup does not go over this very well. So that's why I've been using this one at nighttime and then I just use the Sephora Collection eye cream in the morning. So that's been working well for me. And so far I haven't had any like irritation with this product or like dryness so so far so good you only need like such a small amount to use under your eye so this bottle can last a really long time this is what i've been using for my eyes at nighttime and then again i go in with my cerave moisturizing cream my favorite product ever especially nighttime i feel like i lather this on my face so much more and at nighttime i really like to go the extra step and just do a couple things for my self-care and just wind myself down for bedtime and pack on that extra hydration because you know I love hydration. And so I have two different products that I use after my moisturizer, closer to before I go to bed. A really great hydrating mask that I've been loving is the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I love this mask. When I wake up in the morning, my skin feels so hydrated. It's just incredible. I would warn you though that quite a few people have experience some irritation with this product so if you want to try it out i would maybe recommend just doing a tester at first to make sure that's all good with you but for me personally i have no issues with it and i love it i will use this probably like every other night i love it so much and then some nights i will go in with my rosehip seed oil by the ordinary and then when i use that oil i use my two favorite facial tools my jade roller and my gua sha and together they came in a pack from amazon when i've got my oil on I love to just like give myself a facelift with these products and just push my skin and my face upwards. I love doing it in my jawline here, up my neck, and then with my gua sha, I love to go on my jawline and just carve out the jawline, carve out the cheekbones. And I'll only use the jade ruler and gua sha if I have the oil on my face so that it's a lot more slippery and easy to use. Make sure when you use these products, you guys, you have like something to work with because it also helps your products absorb really well into your face. So you guys, that completes my morning routine and my nighttime routine for my skincare. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. I enjoyed filming it so, so much. I love talking about about my favorite products especially when it comes to skincare I will have all of my favorite products linked down below for you guys to buy them if you want and try them out I feel that I've found my favorite products and a skincare routine that's been really working for me so I'm very very happy with it comment down below your favorite skincare product I would love to know make sure to subscribe and follow along I post every single week every Monday and I would love to have you uh, part of my community. Yeah, I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye.